Hello everybody, Lurcher for Life here, bringing us a brand new deck profile this time around. We got Cyber Dragons. I finally bit the bullet and bought some of the stuff <laughs> that I needed. Uh, God, because it took forever for the stuff to kind of die down. Because way back when I was going to buy it, it went all spiked up because like it became a really popular rogue deck and everything. And it's still a really good rogue deck, I feel like, in the current format and everything. Especially once the ban list comes out and hopefully kind of tones down some of the... Uh, uh, broken stuff into top tier stuff, but I digress. This is my build. I've been enjoying it quite a lot. We finally got Naxter, which is really, really cool. So yeah, let's go into this. First and foremost, of course, we've got the namesake of the deck, Triple Cyber Dragon. Cyber Dragon is, uh, our, as well, still a really good card. If your opponent controls a monster, you control none, just boop, pop them on the deck. There you go. Pop them on the field and continue on with your plays. Uh, obviously, mainly you don't really use them as a beater like you used to back in the day. They use fusion fodder, mostly. <laughs> fusion and Xyz fodder. Uh, moving on, we got Triple Galaxy Soldier. Uh, basically, once per turn, well, you can discard a light monster to summon it from your hand as many times as you want. But once per turn, when you do, you get to search out another copy of a galaxy monster. Or actually, I think it, yeah, it only searches galaxy, right? Yeah, only searches galaxy. I thought for a second it could search photon, but no. But no, yeah, well, it doesn't matter. You search another copy of him, pitch another dude, summon him, and him make his some Xyz and some other plays, and just kind of go off from there. Really good card overall. Moving on, we got Triple Cyber Dragon Core. Uh, whenever it's normal summon, you get to add one of your cyber spells or trap cards from your deck to your hand. And then if it's in your graveyard and you control no monsters and your component controls a monster, you can banish it and special summon a Cyber Dragon from your deck. Pretty cool. And also, like with most of the new Cyber Dragon stuff, it's counted as Cyber Dragon while on the field or in the graveyard. So, really good card overall. It's um, amazing for machine dupe target. So, yeah. Moving on, we got Double Effect Failure for control and because you always go second with this deck. You always go second with Cyber Dragon. You never go first. So we got double effect failure, double uh, Ash Blossom, and double Ghost Ogre. That way, so that we can at least have a chance against whatever absurd bullcrap our opponent does to set up a board of four to five negations. <laughs> Cyber Dragons are a OTK deck through and through and you need to be able to play during your turn. So you gotta kinda just sit there, let your opponent play solitaire and try to negate stuff, pop stuff whenever you get the chance. If I had the money for impermanences, I'd probably be playing those as well. <laughs> so yeah, moving on. I got a controversial card here, Cyber Pharos. I know a lot of people don't like this card, but I have him mostly as backup and because he's another really good discard target for Soldier and such. So basically, uh, the big thing you gotta keep in mind with this guy is that while he's in your graveyard, if a fusion monster control is destroyed by battle, or I believe card effect, uh, no, only by battle, you can banish this card from your graveyard, add Power Bond from your deck to your hand. That's the big thing. It searches out Power Bond, lets you go for another fusion summon. It also has some other effects. Uh, you can summon it from your hand by tributing a machine monster control, and then it's also another fusion spell. It basically, once per turn, lets you fusion summon as well, so that does come up every now and then, but the big thing is, is the search Power Bond. <laughs> Uh, moving on, we got Double Cyber Dragon Hers. Uh, this thing's pretty cool. If it's sent to the graveyard, you get to add a Cyber Dragon from your graveyard or deck to your hand. It has to be specifically Cyber Dragon, though. It can't be Cyber Dragon Monster. And then it has another effect where if it's uh, a special summon, you can make this card level become 5 until the end of this turn. And you cannot summon monsters except for machine monsters for the rest of the turn. And then, of course, like with most of the Cyber Dragon Monsters, he's treated as Cyber Dragon while on the field or in the graveyard. Next up, we got one Jizukiru, the Star Destroyer Kaiju. The only reason why I'm playing this is because he's searchable, okay? The deck has an easy way of searching him out, which is pretty cool, so it's a searchable Kaiju, and whenever you can get a searchable Kaiju, it's uh, it's a pretty much a guaranteed must play, at least as a one of. Uh, my only issue is that this is also one of the strongest Kaijus. It's 3300 attack, which is a bit annoying, so. However, with Cyber Dragons, 3300 attack is nothing. So you can pretty much punch over it pretty easily. And worst case scenario, use it as fusion fodder. Uh, moving on, one Cyber Dragon Dry. I know he's been kind of cut out from a lot of other people's builds, but I still like one of them just as another fusion target. And also the effect to make everybody level five does come up every now and then. And then one Cyber Dragon Naxter. I've been kind of floating between one and two. I've seen most people playing kind of one or two copies. I, I have seen the occasional person playing three, but that's so rare. Uh, so I'm kind of just leaning towards one or two. And right now it's going to be one. 
Uh, and it's been working pretty good. This thing is stupid. So basically, it's another Galaxy Soldier. It has almost the exact same summoning thing as Galaxy Soldier. We can discard a dude, summon him from your hand, and then whenever he is special summoned or normal summoned, I believe, uh, yeah, whenever this card is normal or special summoned, you can spell target one machine monster of 2100 attack or defense in your graveyard to special summon it. But, however, you cannot summon anything for us to turn except for machine monsters. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't matter because you're going to be going into machines all the time, but this is a really, really good card. He's recurrable thanks to the uh, search cards, and of course also he becomes Cyber Dragon while on the field or in the graveyard, which of course is really kind of integral because you need as many Cyber Dragons as you can to do your fusion summons. And also, uh, it's kind of nutty with what you can do with him and Nova, where if you like use him, at, like where if you bring him back using Nova effect because he's Cyber Dragon in graveyard and you get to bring back another monster, kind of stupid. Moving on, we got uh, Triple Cyber Repair Plant. I know some people are probably like cringing real hard because I've seen people play two of this and three of the other search card, but I really like three of this because it is super, uh, really good. So basically, uh, whenever you activate it, you have to have at least one Cyber Dragon in your graveyard to activate this card, which isn't hard to do at all. And then you get to either add a Light Machine from your deck to your hand or shuffle a Light Machine from your graveyard to your deck. And if you have three or more Cyber Dragons in your graveyard, you get to do both, which is a really, really good card. Absolutely phenomenal search card overall, and I love that artwork. It's just so cool. <laughs> it makes me wonder who's building the Cyber Dragons. Uh, and I wonder if, like, whoever built the Ancient Gears may not went on to build the Cyber Dragons. I don't know. I'm just kind of reading into lore a bit too much. Next up, we got Cyber Emergency. This card is really just kind of stupid. So this card lets you add any Cyber Dragon from your deck to your hand. And I do believe, yeah, add one Light Monster from your deck to your hand that cannot be normal summoned or set, or one Cyber Dragon Monster from your deck to your hand. So any Light Machine that cannot be normal summoned or set, or any Cyber Dragon, which is really, really good. Uh, really, really good search card, right? Just standing there. And then on top of that, if this card is negated, you get to add it to your hand by discarding a card. So if this card is negated, you get to just discard a card, add it to your hand. But however, you can't activate it again because, well, you already tried to activate it once. So, yeah. <laughs> Moving on, and I believe you got to discard a card, right? Yeah. Discard one card, add this card to your hand. You can activate one of it per turn. Moving on, we got two machine duplication. Kind of goes without saying. I kind of want to play three, but also at the same time, I feel like three is a bit much. Uh, I just don't want to dead draw it. <laughs> Next up, we got two overload fusion. Um, basically, just lets you fusion summon using your dudes in your graveyard, but you have to go for a dark machine monster. Two power bond, because this card is stupid. You fuse and summon a machine monster using monsters you control or in your hand. And then the fusion monster you bring out has its attack power doubled. And on top of that, uh, you take damage equal to its attack power at the end phase. I don't know why I was talking about that, like as if that was a good thing, but hey, it's there. So the big thing is that you try to go for game with this. You basically use this to fusion summon your dudes and get a massive power up and go for game. And it typically works, especially when combined with cybernetic fusion support. This card is stupid. So basically, when you activate this card, you pay half your life points. And then, if you fusion summon a fusion a machine fusion monster this turn once, you get to banish uh, monsters from your hand, field, and or graveyard as a fusion materials, and you can only activate one of those per turn. So basically, you activate this, you pay half your life points, and then you activate <clears throat> Power Bond to fusion summon using dudes in your graveyard to go for a big machine fusion play and try and go for game. It's stupid. Then I got one Cyber Load Fusion. This lets you fusion summon using monsters in your banish zone, but uh, the turn you activate this card uh, for the rest of the turn, the monster you summon is the only one that can attack. <coughs> Basically, is another uh, just go for game kind of thing. One rev system, it's a monster reborn for Cyber Dragon and also prevents your monster from being destroyed by battle or card effects once, I believe. Yeah. It cannot be destroyed by card effects. Oh, it just flat out cannot be destroyed by card effects. I thought it was just a once only. So, yeah, pretty cool. One monster reborn. One well, limited removal because having a 4200 multi attacker is not enough. We need an 8400 multi attacker <laughs> and a one for one, which is, you know, just get see it in Axter and Hertz and just keeps on going and going and going with the stupid stuff. Moving on to the X Shrek. 
We got double Cyber Dragon Seeker. This card is pretty good. Helps you bump up your attack power of your monsters and just kind of go off from there. Um, he cannot attack the, t or I think he just doesn't do damage the turn you use his effect. Uh, he becomes Cyber Dragon on the field or in the graveyard during each battle phase. If this card has not declared an attack yet, you can, as a quick effect, target a machine monster you control with 2100 or more attack. And for the rest of the turn, that monster gains 2100 attack. Also, neither player takes battle damage from battles involving this card. So you can double basically your Cyber Dragon that you control and then be able to go for a game, but you can't do damage with Cyber Dragon Siger, but he can still attack though, which is pretty cool. Uh, one Platinum Gadget, this thing is just a big combo extender and opens up more arrows. Uh, needs two machine monsters to make and then once per turn you can summon a level four or lower uh, machine from your hand. Uh, the, turn you, the turn you summon him, he cannot be used as a link material, which is a bit annoying, but it's just something you gotta, gotta deal with. <laughs> it is really handy though. It has some effect on destruction to summon a gadget, but that doesn't come up ever. And then one uh, Cleaford Genius to be able to just kind of as another option. This thing is pretty cool too. Once per turn, you can target one of your other dudes and one card your opponent controls and negate their effects. That comes up every now and then. Uh, and also this thing is unaffected by uh, spell trap effects and your active and deactivated effects of other link monsters, which is really, really handy. Uh, typically speaking, if my opponent has a bunch of back row, I'll make this thing because then I don't have to worry about my opponent like bottomless it or trenching or uh, some other really annoying thing so yeah it's just really handy moving on to the exceeds I got two cyber dragon novas this thing is pretty derpy uh, once per turn, you can uh, banish one of your Cyber Dragons from your hand or field uh, to give this card 2100 more attack power. Uh, once per turn, you can detach and seize material from this card. Spell summon a Cyber Dragon from your graveyard, or I believe hand as well, right? Uh, you can do, 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 do. Uh, You can detach, target one Cyber Dragon in your graveyard, spell summon it, so it's just in the graveyard. And then, once per turn, if this card is destroyed by a card effect, you get to summon any of your fusions from your deck for free. Which is pretty annoying. So three really good effects on a really good monster. Uh, just overall, it's just amazing. Uh, he does not count himself as Cyber Dragon, which is kind of annoying, but oh well. Two Cyber Dragon Infinity. Um, you don't make him too often. And typically, Nova's enough, and you try to go for game with him. But if you fail with your OTK, you make Infinity Main Phase Two just to add extra control options. Uh, onto the fusions, I got two Chimera Tech Rampage Dragon. This thing is your main win condition. It's got 2100 attack, but 42 with the uh, Power Bond play. And uh, whenever it's fusion summoned, it just needs uh, two or more Cyber Dragon monsters, or yeah, two or more Cyber Dragon monsters. And uh, whenever it's fusion summoned, you get to pop back row your opponent controls up to the number of Cyber Dragons you use to fusion summon it. Uh, once per turn, you can send a uh, up to two light machine monsters from your deck to the graveyard to enable this card to attack one additional time for each card sent. So if you send two monsters, it can attack twice uh, that turn, uh, which is really, really, really good. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, this card against. So yeah, it can attack up to three times with that effect, which is pretty cool. One for each head. Just overall, really good card. Uh, very, very mean. Uh, one Chimera Tech Over Dragon for the uh, Overload Fusion, just in case. Uh, one Chimera Tech uh, Fortress Dragon for getting rid of my opponent's uh, machines. One Chimera Tech Mega Fleet Dragon for getting rid of my opponent's uh, monsters in the extra monster zone. One Cyber Dragon Twin, sorry, Cyber Twin Dragon, because this does come up every now and then. It has more base attack than Rampage, and sometimes if my opponent doesn't have back row, um, this thing is just sometimes it's better if my opponent has a high attack power monster and I need to get over it. And then one uh, Cyber End Dragon. You don't typically actually fusion summon this card, but however, if your opponent runs out, well, destroys your Nova or negates its summon or something, because if your opponent saw him warnings, your Nova, that counts as it being destroyed by a card effect, so you get the summon which is stupid. So then uh, what you basically do is you summon uh, End Dragon and you immediately have a 4k p piercer, which is an immediate threat to your opponent, which is really, really handy because that really can screw over your opponent and prevent them from trying to kill you that turn. So yeah, really good card overall. Really good extra deck overall, I think. Uh, been working on that ratios for a long while and it's just, I've used everything in this extra deck at least once and it's just works really well. So what do you guys think of Cyber Dragons? Do you think they still need a bit more support or do you think they're fine as is? I feel like they could do something else. I really wish they had a better link. The link is okay, but it's just not particularly amazing. And the f recent fusion, Eternity Dragon was a big disappointment, but however, I'm still a really big fan of this deck. It's so much fun to play, and I love it. What do you guys think of Cyber Dragons? Do you have any ideas, recommendations, or concerns? Thank you all for watching. Have a good day. It's your birthday. Happy birthday. And see you all later. Peace out.